ASC 6150 client is a 6150 client tool with Go sub sub subscription capability. Today we will see the basic operations of the tool to connect to a IED and get the reports. After starting the tool for the first time, user will see a pop-up to select the network adapter. You will get a list of network adapters available in the PC or laptop and we can select any one of them. In this case, I have selected the Ethernet adapter attached to the PC. Next operation could be the addition of IEDs into the configuration. There are two options available. One is to scan the 6150 IEDs in the network or other option is to manually add the IP address of the IED so that tool can locate that IED in the network and connect to the same. First, I will show you the second option to manually add the IP address of the IED. Enter the IP address. Once the IP address is entered, the tool will ensure the connectivity to that IED by using a ping. If it is successful, user can see it added to the list. By clicking OK, the respective IED will be added to the left pane of the tool. Similarly, you can add any number of IEDs into this pane and select one or more IEDs from that list to test the communication. In this case, I will select the only added IED The connectivity parameters of the IED will be listed down. These are some of the 6150 and MMS parameters, which includes some OSI addressing as well. Further, the second tab in the same pane can be selected. Once the tab is selected, the 6150 client will try to discover that IED configuration from the network. It will connect to the IED and using 6150 operations, it will fetch the configuration and data models of the IED. It could take longer based on the number of points in the IED or based on the logical devices it has. So in this case, I am loading a sample configuration. So, and we don't have so many logical nodes here. Further, the parameters required to be monitored can be added to the right hand side point list. As an example, I will add a few measurement data points. Once the points are added to the point list, tool will automatically pull the values from the remote IED. Updates of the values will be highlighted using yellow color. The same fashion, any number of points can be added into the IED. Now we can add a few digital points like circuit breaker position.
strip conditioning signal okay so now we have a handful of points listed here and tool is continuously polling the data values from the remote IEDs and showing the updates. Another option is to get the values from the IED through other means which includes reporting. To enable reporting you need to go to the tools menu and click on the view reports option all the report control blocks which include both unbuffered and buffered report control blocks will be listed here to verify that data is fetched through reports we might have to disable the polling in the tool and for that there is a column which will allow to select between polling and non-polling of a data point. To test the reporting, it is important to uncheck this option. We can have both polling and reporting enabled at the same time. And based on the last column indication, user will know how the data point arrived in the tool. So there could be a toggling between read and report if the same data is fetched through both means. So let us go and enable a few reports. First I will enable a trip conditioning signal report and the details of the report control block is visible here option fields trigger options etc can be set appropriately and the data set associated with that report also can be viewed along with the data elements in that data set i'll select breaker status as well as uh, a measurement report to fetch the measurement data from the IED. Once the required reports are selected, you can click OK. Now the tool will try to enable the selected reports automatically based on the option fields and trigger options selected by the user and data updates can be viewed by looking at the highlighted rows recent updates will be highlighted using yellow color and source of the information timestamp of the data value etc will be updated appropriately so along with the reporting the read of the other variables also can be enabled so if any, if any data points are not available in reports those can be fetched using read option history of data changes or data updates are visible by using the history option here that can be viewed by clicking on a specific data point based on the selection of the row the respective value changes timestamp and source of the data etc will be visible below
Further, there are event logs, which gives the summary of user operations. And also the history of read operations performed by the tool. Then reports with details of data. And finally, ghost messages, which we will cover in a separate video. So these are the different options available in the tool. Control operations can be performed by going into the third pane on the left hand side. By selecting the third tab, there is a detailed view of data points available. In the second tab, it basically gives the list of status and measurement values. Those can be added to the point list. Under the verbose tab, there are more options available, which includes the listing of ghost control block, buffered and unbuffered report control blocks, data sets of the report. Data points associated with the data set also can be viewed in the bottom pane. And by browsing into the control, we could perform control operations on IED. By selecting the respective control wizard, we could initiate different type of operations supported by the IED. could see the current value as false. You can select that data point so that it will be updated appropriately. So I have added that point into the point list. we could issue a control operation into it. So the current value is false. So let us trigger the value change to true and find out what happens. In this case, you could see that the control operation was successful and IED returned the value true immediately. Based on the control model of the uh, object, different type of operations will be allowed. So this is a direct operate control model. That's why the respective options are enabled. As you can see, the value which was forced is reflected in the status value. So this is the summary of basic operations which can be performed using ASC 61850 client tool. Other advanced operations will be shared using a different training video.